because she loves him. Oh, you guys didn't pick up on that? Ooh. Wazowski, room 319. You know, your roommate is a scaring major, too. <gasps> Hello, I'm your roommate. Oh, that's too bland. Don't force it, just let it happen. Your lifelong best friend is right behind this door. survival course, affectionately referred to as the Danger Room. Come with me, child. I shall explain who we are. All of us here are mutants, like yourself. Well, tell me this. What is a mutant? No one knows who will be a mutant at birth. We discover our extraordinary powers at about your age. Professor Xavier is our leader, and he has named us the X-Men. Don't worry, you are safe here. Because I can control the weather, they call me Storm. to the right place. This is Professor Xavier's School for the Gifted. Gifted, huh? I getcha. That's a nice way of saying mutants, weirdos, like me, like all of us. We X-Men learn something very special here today. between humans and mutants. But when you formed the X-Men, was it not to teach us to use our powers to benefit mankind so ordinary people would learn not to fear us? Professor, aren't we? I know what you're going to say, Cyclops, but I'm afraid we have no choice. Welcome! What's the matter? Did 
Nature's pet got cold feet. Anytime, pretty boy. Welcome. I just went to check on Jubilee. She's gone. I'm going after her. No way, Wolverine. We've got a job to do first. I go. Rogue, everybody, stay close. Not too close. You know, I remember when I was 13, had me a boyfriend until I kissed him. Poor boy was in a coma for three days. That was when I first realized if I touched anybody, I absorbed their strength right into me. Some power, huh? That's when the boys quit calling. <laughs> Consider yourself fortunate. I had dandruff. Hey, whenever I got into trouble at school, I used to turn myself into the principal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are now seeing the beginnings of another stage of human evolution. These mutations manifest at puberty and are often triggered by periods of heightened emotional stress. Thank you, Miss Gray. It was quite educational. However, it fails to address the issue that is the focus of this hearing. Three words. Are mutants dangerous? I'm afraid that's an unfair question, Senator Kelly. After all, the wrong person behind the wheel of a car can be dangerous. Well, we do license people to drive. Yes, but not to live. Senator, it is a fact that mutants who have come forward and revealed themselves publicly have been met with fear, hostility, even violence. It is because of that ever-present hostility that I am urging the Senate to vote against mutant registration. To force mutants to expose themselves will only further... Expose themselves? What is it the mutant community has to hide, I wonder, that makes them so afraid to identify themselves? I didn't say they were hiding. Well, let me show you what is being hidden, Miss Gray. I have here a list of names of identified mutants living right here in the United States. Now, uh, here's a, a girl in Illinois who can walk through walls. Now, what's to stop her from walking into a bank vault, or into the White House, or into their houses? And there are even rumors, Miss Gray, of mutants so powerful that they can enter our minds and control our thoughts, taking away our God-given free will. I think the American people deserve the right to decide whether they want their children to be in school with mutants, to be taught by mutants. It looks great. It looks cozy. Put your hands on the heater. I'm not gonna hurt you, kid. It's nothing personal. It's just that when people touch my skin, something happens. What? I don't know. They just get hurt. Fair enough. When they come out, does it hurt? Every time. So what kind of a name is Rogue? I don't know. What kind of a name is Wolverine? Logan, it's been almost 15 years, hasn't it? 
living from day to day, moving from place to place, with no memory of who or what you are. Shut up. Give me a chance. I may be able to help you find some answers. But I know you are not the only one with gifts. So you know it's over there. What are you doing over here? What is this place? against the world's hostility. To the public, we're merely a school for gifted youngsters. Cyclops, Storm, and G were some of my first students. I protected them, taught them to control their powers, and in time, teach others to do the same. The students are mostly runaways, frightened, alone, some with gifts so extreme that they've become a danger to themselves and those around them. Like your friend Rogue, incapable of physical human contact. Capable of physical human contact, probably for the rest of her life. And yet here she is with others her own age, learning, being accepted, not feared. John. Sorry. up to her. Rejoin the world as an educated young woman, or stay on to teach others, to become what the children have affectionately called X-Men. Welcome to Mutant High. Cool. Wazowski, room 319. You know, your roommate is a scaring major, too. <gasps> Hello, I'm your roommate. Oh, that's too bland. Don't force it, just let it happen. Your lifelong best friend is right behind this door. <sighs> hey there, I'm your roommate. Name's Randy Box, Scaring Major. Oh, what is it? A Mikeowski Scaring Major. <laughs> I can tell we're gonna be best chums, Mike. Take whichever bed you want. I want you to have first kiss. <laughs> When I was a boy, I discovered I had the power to control people's minds, make them think or do whatever I wanted. When I was 17, I met a young man named Eric Lenscher. He too had an unusual power. He could create magnetic fields and control metal. Believing that humanity would never accept us, he, he grew angry and vengeful. He became Magneto. Mutants out there with incredible powers, Logan. And many who do not share my respect for mankind. If no one is equipped to oppose them, humanity's days could be over. I'll make a deal with you, Logan. Give me 48 hours to find out what Magneto wants with you. And I give you my word that I will use all my power to help you piece together what you've lost. And what you're looking for. I 
get my shirt off again. The metal is an alloy called adamantium, supposedly indestructible. It's been surgically grafted to his entire skeleton. How could he have survived a procedure like that? His mutation. He has uncharted regenerative capability, which enables him to heal rapidly. This also makes his age impossible to determine. He could very well be older than you, Professor. Who did this to him? He doesn't know. Nor does he remember anything about his life before it happened. Experimentation on mutants. It's not unheard of. But I've never seen anything like this before. What do you think Magneto wants with him? I'm not entirely sure it's him Magneto wants. I couldn't help feeling like I was being led somewhere new. Was this mysterious scroll a message? Who was it from? I had to find out. This was all so new to me. Life was hard on these streets. Every night was a struggle. Day after day, I searched for Gem. As time went by, I was getting further and further away from all that I ever was. I felt lost, chasing a ghost I might never find. You're the Commerce Secretary, so make it happen. I need details. It's on the shipping manifest. The package is called the White Rose. Only in the dark do all colors become one. You can't just cope with the darkness. You have to embrace what is without fear. You have to feel without your senses. Harness the energy around you.
can find a place where me and things go together. I'm not sure where that is, but I know what it's like. Now, as I understand it, what we're doing is getting you ready to visit somebody at Sing Sing. 